Hey, baby, help this. Can't walk, can't talk. Laying in the manger, but he's enough. The baby in, in his weakest form is still stronger than the powers that go against him. The baby in his weakest form is still stronger than that which would try to rob you of your peace. The baby in his weakest form makes a difference in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, I can be at peace. I can be at peace. I Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. See, see, that's why some folks don't understand when you got turmoil and tr that's why people get mad. I know people get mad that I'm laughing at funerals. I remember the first time I was laughing with the undertaker and the, uh, we was on the street and we was just laughing. My mentor had died and I'd been crying all crazy that during that funeral, but we outside laughing in front of the hearse and then one of the members came up to me and said, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Laughing like this at a time like this. I said, baby, you don't understand. This is the time you're supposed to laugh. That, that, that doesn't mean you're not sad. That doesn't mean that you don't cry. But it means that I've got a power greater than the forces that are working against me. i got a power that lifts me when the devil is trying to push me down. That's, that's, that's the 
my sermon. That's it. That's all I got to talk about. It ain't going to be long because it's not that long, but I, I do remember that when they're in that, that maple, that barn, and those shepherds showed up, and the Bible declared this heavenly host showed up, they sung a song. And somewhere in that song it says, Peace on earth. Goodwill toward all oh, men. Wow. Maybe it is applicable. And that's what I want to talk about today that, that are we doing what God would have us to do? Is the world in the condition it is in because we haven't been doing what we are supposed to do? Maybe it's dark because we haven't been our lights. Maybe, maybe the world is messed up because we aren't doing our part. We're not that city that sits on the hill. Amen. Cannot be here. Maybe if we be more what he called us to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world would be more what he called the world to be. Yeah. yeah. Salt of the earth. Are we making a difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that. Am I making a difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a witness here? God's peace produces. That's my first point. God's peace produces. God's peace produces. Real peace is not peace because of the absence of conflict. I'm going to say that again. Real peace is not peace because there's an absence of trouble. Peace is peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what the condition, peace is still peace. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter that you have Sister Carol, Carol, look for you. I thought you missed it. That girl came to her. She in the choir. Pray the Lord. I'm so excited for my new member going to the, the absence of war does not necessarily make the presence of peace. <laughs> because there's no war doesn't mean you don't have peace. on its own and, and, and real peace uh, is that which is uh, pure whether, whether there's a conflict or not. Amen, amen. Say that. Real peace happens uh, as it relates to peace's relationship with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. That when we see the baby child, what Christmas is really all about, the baby child represents peace. Because the baby child is sent by God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, happy Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 Who is really the origin of peace. Yeah. If I have peace, uh -huh. I have God. Yeah. 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 If I have God, I have a peace which surpasses all understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. better hear me today. Yeah. That glorifying God really means. Uh, producing godly fruit. Yes, God. I like the same old stuff. Yes, see, you can't really put it in the class by itself. See, 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 if I have peace, it's because I have that which produces peace. Yeah, I'm making myself happy. I don't need God. He said, he said in Ephesians, he said, if you have the Spirit of God, there are certain fruit you have to have along with that. Talks about love and joy, but somewhere in that line, he said there is peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I have God present in me, I've got to have the peace of God present in me. And if there is an absence of peace, there has to be an absence of His woo, of His spirit. I, I need to know that I'm a child of God, that I have God in me, that God walks with me and talks with me, and because God is in me, I have His. 
missed y'all chance to shout right there. Y'all should be so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that that truth, that truth of peace, the peace uh, uh, God provides uh, uh, is, is that which emanates from Him. That God provides us with what we need in order to be who He wants us to be. In order to be, to live according to God's will, I've got to have some spirit in me. God provides peace through His Son, Jesus Christ, that, that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That God's will is for His church, and His church is supposed to be at peace. It's that the church ought to be at peace because we have the presence of God. He said, you, are, you, you don't look to the world to see how you're supposed yeah, to behave. Yeah. The world looks to the church. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they look at the church, you ought to see an example of what, what God is all about. Yeah. And we ought to have the Spirit of God in us. And if we have the Spirit of God, we ought to have the peace of God. And if there's an absence of peace, there must be an absence of oh, I'm just going to have a Say because I'm a child of God, I don't have lust. Right. But 
But I need to understand, Paul said, if you are the kind of Christian you should be, you understand there is a constant war right. on the inside of you. Right. I wish I had a witness here that, that, that the flesh is going to be the flesh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but the spirit is going to be the spirit. That, yeah. And I need to understand, I need to make sure I focus on the spirit. I need to make sure I feed the spirit. You can't go around feeding the flesh and then come out with all the God. That, he said, if I'm going to be who God wants me to be, I got to feed the spirit. I got to focus on the spirit. I've got to allow the spirit to have his way. When the flesh is telling me one thing and the spirit is telling me another, I don't have to wonder which one I'm going to listen to. I'm going to always listen to the spirit. The spirit will always lead me right. He said, we are more than conquerors. Come on, see how through him that love us, I'm persuaded that neither life nor death. Come on here, somebody. Chris Cotter, but I need to understand that when I have God in me, the power of God is working in me. And as long as I know who God is and I know I'm God's, nothing shall separate me. Come on here, somebody. I am who I am because God loves me. I am who I am because God He said, 
You can pray some now. You can you can pray and tell the priest that the priest tells you. But now you go directly. But when you go to it, don't go on your own. But go in the name of come on here, somebody. The name of Jesus. He said he got peace between you and God. He, 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 he's a regulator. He, he opens up the door. He, he gives you the privilege, the right to call my brother. You know, y'all need to shout just for the privilege of prayer. I think people would pray more when they realize prayer is a privilege. Just to be in the presence of God is a privilege. Just to be in the presence of God. It is something you ought to shout about. It, yeah. it, it, it's a, a presence of power that you couldn't yeah. experience otherwise. That yeah. you see, you can't be in God's presence and act the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a difference in trying to act peaceably and being peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I have this spirit, I don't act peaceful. I am peaceful. Yeah. I be peace. I be love. I be joy. I be happiness. I be that which God has called me to be. Oh, I wish I had somebody feel that shout today. That if God is working in me and God is pouring in me, He'll make a difference in my life. All I'm trying to tell you before I go that Christmas is all that good, but say you mean the way Christmas is not what it used to be. Well, maybe you aren't what you used to be. Why ah, ah, ah. don't sing like you used to sing? Maybe you don't sing like you used to sing. And instead of expecting a, a Christmas carol to bring you good feelings, instead of expecting some fattening cake making you feel Christmas in, instead of drinking some juice gonna make you Christmas in, maybe you all understand the real source of Christmas. The real source of feeling Christmas is He who is the God of Christmas. We ought to glorify Him and be glorify Him when we be what He's called us to be. When, when His power reigns in us. All I'm trying to tell you is that Christmas is not just about being peaceful. It's not just about loving the love He gives, but it's about making a difference in the world we live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told, I was talking with Pastor Mac and talking to others that, you know what? My preaching took a transition years ago when I stopped trying to preach masterpieces and I started trying to preach sermons that help make people better. Amen. Stop trying to make folks shout and I just want to improve their life. I stopped trying to be the preacher and start trying to encourage preaching. I don't want this to be the witness myself. I want to encourage you to be a witness. I want us to be about our father's business, not just on Sunday, but everywhere we go. The world ought to see Jesus in our lives. They ought to see us because they see him in the way we walk. They see him in the way we talk. I say, so they'll never read a Bible. Maybe the only Bible they read will be you. They, they don't know God loves them, but they need to know you love them. And when they can get past you loving them, then they can understand God really loves them through you. Yes, God can touch their hearts and he can take out their stony hearts and put in a heart of love, but we've got to go into the hedges and the highways and compel men to come. So you see, brothers and sisters, I can't throw up my hands and throw them in the towel, but I'd rather have to surrender to the will of God. To glorify Him and to magnify Him, and as long as God exists, I have hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as God exists, I have peace. As long as God exists, I have joy. I, yeah, it's an unseekable joy. It, it, it's a joy that surpasses all understanding. I, I know that God is real because He's real in my life. Paul said if he wanted me, he would have called me a long time 
to go, but the fact that he leaves me here yeah, means yeah. he left me here for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't just come to shop. Yeah, shop is good. Uh, but when I come, I come to be refueled. Uh, yeah. Uh, I put the gas in the car to park it in the garage. Uh, yeah, it's, in, it's sometime in the garage. I got two in the garage right now, but, but as soon as this one gets low, I, I'm going to get one of them uh, and going to pull it out of the garage. Uh, you see, when you fill up the tank, you fill up your tank because you're going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I got a problem with people filling up their spiritual tanks uh, to just do the same old stuff. Uh, filling up your spiritual tanks to go to the same old place. Uh, filling up your spiritual tanks, uh, tanks to sing the same old songs that seem like to me uh, if my tank is full. Uh, I should be about my father's business. Uh, seem like to me uh, if my tank is full. Uh, I need to go where he tells me to go. Uh, I need to do what he tells me to do. Uh, seem like uh, if his spirit uh, is real in my soul. Uh, I've got a peace uh, that causes me to go witness to a pain member. Uh, I've got a peace uh, that makes me walk in danger. Uh, because if he's walking with me, me, uh, there is no danger. Uh, he'll hold me uh, in the hollow of his hand. Uh, now don't try it. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, you need to have it. Uh, but if he's real uh, in your soul, uh, he'll walk uh, where you don't usually walk. Uh, he'll talk uh, and make you say things uh, you don't normally say. Uh, he'll rise in your soul uh, and put running in your feet uh, and clapping in your hand. Uh, you know the shower, uh, but sometimes uh, you got to run uh, when you're on the battlefield. Uh, you got to run uh, when you're warring uh, against the forces of evil. Uh, you got to run uh, when the devil thinks he got you down. Uh, when the devil thinks you're down and out, uh, the Holy Ghost uh, will make you stand up uh, and say, I'm not dead yet. I'm still marching on uh, the upward way. New heights of